Hey everybody, this is Dr. Jay Greenstein coming to you live from Washington, D.C. and we are continuing our conversation, our very important conversation, on patient loyalty. So this is part three. So if you remember, the first video that we talked about was the net promoter score, really identifying patient loyalty. There is a difference between patient satisfaction, people who are satisfied but may not return, and patient loyalty, those loyal patients who are your raving fans. You find out what your patient loyalty score is by utilizing the net promoter score. If you don't remember what that is, go back and watch that video. Now we also know from science that engaged employees, highly engaged employees, drive up loyalty scores. So if you don't know what your employee engagement score is, then make sure that you do the Q12. If you don't remember what that is, remember, go back and watch that video. So now we're talking about part three. So what do you do with all this information? You've got your baseline patient loyalty score. You've got your baseline employee engagement score. How do you actually increase employee engagement? The more engagement there is, the more loyal patients you're gonna have, and the better culture you're gonna have in your workplace. So these are my tools, these are my tricks that I use literally every single day. First and foremost, I meet with my direct reports every single week. We do what's called one-on-ones. And when we have those meetings, it's about meaningful conversation. So if something doesn't seem right or something doesn't feel right, I literally go there. Sometimes it's hard to have a conversation about somebody's enjoyment in their job, but if you don't talk about it, you can never solve the problems for them. So have regular weekly meetings, do your one-on-ones, have an agenda, it's checking in with them, how are they doing, it's how are they doing on their goals, and what are their needs or issues that you can help them solve. And make sure that you go there. If you're sensing something isn't right, have that conversation with them. The next piece is what I call code, right? This is the code of success. This is about working with your team to make sure that each team member knows their role, that they own the requirements of that role, and then true leaders actually drive results through, other, through others in order to develop the highest level of execution. So it's know your role, make sure they know their role, it's making sure they own the activities of their role, and then helping them be better leaders by driving results through others, and that yields amazing execution. And then the last piece of the employee engagement model is grow. It's about investing in your team to help them grow. Ongoing training is a regular part of what we do here at Kaizo Health. It's an important part of any strong organization. It also helps to ensure that people feel like you care about them. Years ago in Maryland, there was this requirement where we now had to certify our chiropractic assistants. And there was all this uproar like, oh my God, if I pay for their training, they're just gonna take the training and they're gonna leave. And the research completely refutes that. What the research actually shows is that the more you invest in your team, the more likely they are to stay with you, to be loyal. So it's all about investing in your team and creating a great culture. Meet, code, grow. That's part three of patient loyalty. The next piece, the last piece, part four, is talking about how we create remarkable patient experiences. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.